Okay, guys, my camera battery died, so I'm back. I haven't done anything else. I've uh, got my loop done here, like I explained, and uh, we're just going to continue to build on that. So we're going to go ahead and do something with this bead. Um, let's see. I have here just a little seed bead to keep my large bead from falling through. So I'm going to do that. And I like this. Maybe I'll do it like that. Okay, so let me... I think I need to make a loop at the end of this. So I'm going to get this and bend it about a quarter of an inch and then make my loop. Straighten it out a little. Oops. Okay, let's see if I can close it just a little more. Get this part. Okay, not perfect, but it'll work. So, I want to attach these two. It's probably good to put a jump ring in there, but I don't want it too long. So I'm just going to connect these two, like that. So, let me close this up. Okay. So now I do need to cut the end of this. And I'm going to... I wonder if I don't need a seed bead since I've got that loop there. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then I want to add this. And I have just enough space to make my loop. I think I need a bead up there. So, ugh, I probably need to use a longer pin and Let's, let's remove this one and use a longer pin. Let me grab that. Let's see. My box open here. Here we go. See, I, have, I buy two different lengths because sometimes you need a shorter one and you don't want to waste all that wire and pay extra for the longer wire. So I use two different lengths. So we're going to go ahead and use a longer one on this one. So here we go again. You get to watch me make another loop. <laughs> so I'll bend it. I know I'll get good at this at some point. But right now I'm kind of new. So let's see what we come up with now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll thread it through here again. That looks pretty good. All right, so then let me see what it looks like again. If I need a seed bead, I'll have room to add more things now. No, nope, that doesn't need a bead, but I want to cut this off. They do sell pins with the loops already in it, but I figured I just could do my own um, and save a few bucks on not having both of them. You really don't need both of them. So, okay, so I've added a seed bead there, and here's my 
little spool. I'm going to add that there, and then I think I'm going to add, oh, let's see, I think I need two black beads. I don't think I like that little one. Let me get two more black beads. Oh, where are you? ahead and add I don't have my glasses on let's see add that and add this add this was that where I wanted it you always have to just play around There, that's what I want. Look, you think that's too gaudy? There's too many beads. Maybe these are too big. Let's see if I have some smaller black beads. Here's some itty bitty ones. Let me see. A little bit bigger than a seed bead. What do you guys think? Okay. I guess I'll let it go. I think I kind of like that. Okay, so let's try that again. It's too small. Maybe. Okay, maybe that'll work. Alright, let's finish up. <laughs> I didn't end up using that, but that's okay. If I do a second one. So let's cut this at, leave it about a quarter of an inch. And roll this. Ooh, that one came out nice, you guys. Look. Okay, there we are. Here's my arty so-called charm with tassels, an altered car wheel, a spool, and some uh, glass black beads and a fancy bead from Joann's. Thanks everybody for watching.